Okay, so for today, we're going to talk about integration by parts. And integration by parts is given by this formula. uv minus the integral of the du. When, and of course, we're going to choose the u and we're going to choose the dv in this uh, type of integration technique. And uh, basically, integration by parts is used when the two uh, functions that are to be integrated is of different function. Some can be, uh, one can be on the logarithmic and the other could be algebraic and another could be uh, trigonometric and another is could be logarithmic. So in this cases of integral, evaluating integrals, we're going to use integration by parts as our technique in order for us to actually uh, solve that integral. So there are two general rules in integration by parts. The number one rule is that as I've said a while ago, we're going to choose two parameters here or two variables here, the u and the dv. So the part selected dv must be readily integrable. That is, the, if you're going to choose a dv in our uh, integration by parts, that must be readily integrable. Okay. Number two, the integral of bdu must be no more complex than the integral of u dv. And you, you will understand this as we go on on our study. These are the two general rules that can be, um, uh, that should be followed in uh, evaluating integral by using integration by parts. So as I said a while ago, we we're going to choose the, the u and the dv. And there are rules, there is a rule for considering or choosing the u. Okay, so if the, he, here is the uh, priority. Okay, priorities in choosing u. Number one is a logarithmic function. If the integral contains a logarithmic function, then you must choose it at, as u. Okay, so number two, we have the inverse. Okay, it comes it, it comes after the logarithmic. So meaning to say, if we have if we, we if we need to get the integral of the inverse tan of x, okay, multiplied by the ln of x, we must choose still as u as the logarithmic okay so number three is the algebraic number four trigonometric and the least priority is the exponential okay you must take note of this because this is a very important uh, concept in using the integration by parts okay you can um, uh, memorize this by actually um, Remembering the word, okay? Remembering the word, liate. Okay? Liate stands for logarithmic, inverse, algebraic, trigonometric, and exponential. So, okay, we're ready to solve some problems. So, here are our example. We have seven examples. So, the first example will be, find the integral of x sine x dx, Okay? So, as I've said, in integration by parts, we're going to choose u and dv. What is this u and dv? Of course, this function contains an algebraic function, x, multiplied by a trigonometric function. And if we're going to recall our priorities for choosing the u, so we have the acronym LIATE, okay, which stands for logarithmic, inverse, algebraic, trigonometric, and exponential. In this case, we have an algebraic expression, which is this, okay? And we have a trigonometric expression here, sine of x, which is the trigonometric. So, algebraic comes before the trigonometric, so we're going to choose u as x, of course. And, of course, as I have said, if you choose u, you're going to assign also a dv here, so that this dv will now be the remaining uh, term, by right? sine x dx. So what are you going to do with the u? You're going to derive it or take the derivative of it with respect to u, that is du, and take the derivative of this with respect to x is du is simply equal to dx. And this term, we're going to integrate. So if we integrate these both sides, okay, what will happen is that we have now v integral of sine x, sine of x, okay? so integral of sine of x, dx, v will now become, what is the integral of sine? Negative cosine of x. 
Okay? Plus C, we can uh, we can not rewrite uh, just for now. Okay? So, uh, meaning to say is that uh, as long as you get the integral of this, just don't add C uh, because later on, we're going to add C here in our integral. Okay? So, and again, going back to our formula, our formula is again what? u times b is minus integral of b du. That is our formula for the integration by parts. This is our formula. The u b minus integral of b du. And now u b, okay, applying that formula, the integral of x sine of x dx is now equal to u times b. Our u is, in this, in this case, is x multiplied by b is negative cosine of x minus the integral of b du. Okay, b is negative cosine of x and du is equal to simply dx. And if you're going to simplify that, we have now negative x cosine of x. So we can factor out the negative sign. This would become a positive one and integral of cosine x dx. Evaluating the integral now will be x, negative x cosine of x, integral of cosine is simply plus sine of x plus c, of course. So, this would now be our final answer. Okay, that's integration by parts. Pretty easy, right? Okay. So, number two, let's go to our number two problem. I hope you can follow my discussion. Okay, number two. The problem for number 2 is x raised to e, uh, x times e raised to x dx, the integral of, so the integral of x raised to e raised to x dx. So again, uh, remember our formula or the priority in choosing u, liate, okay, liate. So, we have here an algebraic x multiplied by an exponential. So, our priority algebraic comes before the exponential. So, you have to choose u as x again. And, of course, dv will now be e raised to x dx. Okay? And, if we're going to get the derivative of u, du, derivative of x, simply dx, we're going to integrate this side db, we have now b, the integration of e raised to x is simply e raised to x, okay? So, the same. So, applying now our formula, okay, formula is u, b minus the integral of b, d, u. Now, we have the integral of x times e raised to x, dx, is equal now to u times b is simply, this is our u, x, multiplied by b, e raised to x minus the integral of b, that is e raised to x, and our du is equal to simply dx. So, evaluating that, x times e raised to x minus the integral of e raised to x is simply e raised to x plus c. So, this should now be our final answer for this problem. Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy, right? So, number three, find the integral of the x squared multiplied by ln of x dx. Okay? As you can see here, we have now, we, we're going to apply the same thing. We have the, an algebraic and we have a logarithmic function here. So, what are we going to do is simply, uh, again, the priority in choosing you is liate. So, we have now logarithmic. No question that our u should be ln of x. And our dv is the remaining uh, term. is That is x squared dx. Okay? So, we're going to get a derivative of u. du is equal now to the derivative of ln is du over dx over x. So, that is 1 over x dx or simply dx over x. So, the integral of dv will now become the integral of this, okay? So, one-third x cubed, okay? One-third of x cubed or x cubed over 3, 
Again, applying now our formula. Okay, again, our formula, let me just write here so that you can memorize. UB minus the integral of BDU. Now, the integral of x squared times the ln of x dx should now be equal to u times b. Okay? Our, our, our u is actually ln of x. So, ln of x multiplied by one-third x cubed. That is our b. Minus the integral of b. Okay? One-third x cubed and our du is what? du is equal to 1 over x dx okay? again simplifying this we have x cubed ln of x over 3 okay? minus we can actually factor out 1 third outside of the integral and of course what we have here is this will cancel. This would be x squared because of this x. So what will happen is that we have now an x squared dx. Okay? So the answer is x cubed ln of x over 3 minus 1 third the integral of x squared is simply x cubed over p plus c. So the final answer should be x cubed ln of x over 3 minus 1 over 9 x cubed plus c. So this should be our final answer for this integral. So I hope you can follow. This integration by parts is quite easy because of the formula and you know how to choose the u and the d. Okay? So for number 4, Number 4, what is our problem for number 4? A okay, 4x cosine of 2x minus 3. Okay, 4x minus cosine minus 2x okay, minus 3. So we have here 4x Integral of 4x cosine 2 minus 3x. 2 minus 3x dx. This is 2 minus 3x dx. Uh, this is not correct. So this must be 2 minus 3x. Okay. So let's try to solve. So again, applying our priorities for choosing u, that is Liate. Okay. Logarithmic, inverse, algebraic. So we have here algebraic. And algebraic comes before the trigonometric according to our priorities in choosing u. So we have here u is equals to 4x and of course our dv would now be cosine of 2 minus 3x okay, dx. So integrating or uh, taking the derivative of this, du is equal to simply 4dx. Okay, and integrating this, we have what? To integrate this, okay. So we let, again, we let u is equals to 2 minus 3x get the derivative. So we have negative 3dx. Okay? And we can perform the integration by uh, <clears throat> what? By simply offsetting a negative one third outside of the integral. So we have now negative one third. Okay? Integral of cosine of u du. Okay, so we have here negative 3 also. So we have negative 1 third. Okay, the integral of cosine u is simply the sine minus 3x. Okay, so sine of u of which that is negative 1 third sine of 2 minus 3x. So that is our integral. So applying now our formula uv minus the integral of v du now we have 
uh, our u is 4x multiplied by v. Our v is simply this. So, 4x multiplied by negative 1 third sine 2 minus 3x. Okay? Minus the integral of v. Our v is negative 1 third again sine of 2 minus 3x. And our du is simply 4dx. So, 4 times dx. So, as you can see here, we can uh, simplify this first, our first term. So, we have now the negative 4 thirds of x sine of 2 minus 3x. Okay. So, in here, we can factor out negative 1 third times 4. That is negative 4 thirds. Oh, minus, okay, this is will become positive 4 thirds, the integral of sine 2 minus 3x and dx. Okay? So what will happen here is negative 4 thirds x sine 2 minus 3x plus 4 thirds again if we get the integral of this let u 2 minus 3x du is simply negative 3 dx so what are we going to do is to add negative 3 here okay so we're going to add negative 3 here because of the negative 3 dx sine of 2 minus 3x dx and of course add one third or negative one third okay outside of the integral because we we actually add a negative three inside the integral to compensate for the negative three dx so we have now negative four third of x sine two minus three x okay four thirds times negative one third is negative four over nine okay so now we need to get the integral of sine u du. So we have negative four thirds of x sine two minus three x minus okay. So the integral of sine is negative cosine. So negative cosine times negative four ninths is positive four ninths. Okay. Cosine of u, our u is equal to two minus. 3x and that is plus c and that should now be our final answer okay that is number four so number five this is our number five question is x squared okay <laughs> i have a wrong numbering here so this should be number uh, 5 and this should be number 6 so we have here x squared sine of x dx so number 5 integral of x squared sine of x dx this is a uh, similar to our problem a while ago x squared sine of x dx but we will see what is the effect of squaring the x to our integral. Okay? So, again, liate, our priority for choosing u is liate. So, we have an algebraic here and we have a trigonometric and algebraic comes before the trigonometric. So, we're going to choose u as x squared and we're going to choose db as the remaining. So, sine of x dx. So, du, uh, derivative of this is 2x dx and integral of sine of x dx is actually what negative cosine of x okay negative cosine of x so applying our formula again our formula is uv minus the integral of v du so that must be u times v is x squared multiplied by negative cosine of x okay so that is our multiplication of uv minus the integral of v du our VDU is negative cosine of x. Our DU is 2x dx multiplied by 2x dx. So let me just uh, simplify this. Negative x squared cosine of x. So again, 
we can what factor out two here okay and the negative sign here so that negative times negative will be, become positive and factor out two so we have plus two integral of the cosine of x okay cosine of x times x dx or in other words we have negative x squared cosine of x plus 2 integral of x cosine of x dx so how do we integrate this how do we integrate this integration again by parts okay so we have liate let u again let u equal to x and dv is equal to cosine of x dx get the derivative that is du is equal to dx and the derivative of cosine of x is simply what sine of x okay and again so copying this okay we're going to copy that so negative x squared cosine of x plus 2 okay and again we're going to apply the uv minus integral of the du here. Okay? So, as you can see, we use the integration by parts twice. Okay? That's the effect of the x squared. Okay? If it is x cubed, then uh, we have to integrate uh, using integration by parts three times. Okay? And so on and so forth. So, two multiplied by u v our u here is x and our v is sine x so x sine of x minus the integral of v that is sine of x okay du is equal to dx okay and that is negative x squared cos sine of x distribute the two that is plus 2x that is plus 2x okay. 2x sine of x minus 2, the integral of sine is, okay, negative cosine of x plus c, okay, and our final answer should be negative x squared cosine of x plus 2x sine of x plus 2 cosine of x plus c, okay, that should be our Final answer. Okay, for our last example in this problem, problem number six, last example, uh, it should be what? 3t plus t squared sine 2t dt. So we have integral of uh, 3t 3t plus t squared sine of 2t dt so our priority in choosing u again is liate this is an algebraic this is a trigonometric so what is our u our u should be 3t plus t squared and our dv is the remaining is sine 2t dt so what will happen here is take the derivative again. So 3t with respect to d is 3 plus 2t and that is with respect to dt. Okay, the integral of sine 2t is simply v is equals to negative 1 half cosine of 2t dt. Okay, negative 1 half because we compensate for the uh, 2 that is 1 half and the integral of sine is negative cosine so that we distribute the negative sign here. Okay, and applying our formula again, uh, uv, uv minus the integral of v du and that is u 3t plus t squared multiplied by v negative 1 half cosine of 2t. Okay, uh, of course dt here is not included okay, because we have integrated it already. So, negative 1 half cosine 2t, okay? So, minus the integral of vdu, that is negative 1 half cosine of 2t 
by B D U. Our U is our D U is three plus two T D T. So we have three plus. Okay, that is plus not T. It's very confusing. So three plus two T plus two T D T. Okay. So let me just rearrange this. That is negative one half. 3t plus t squared cosine of 2t. We can factor out uh, here the negative 1 half. So negative 1 half times negative is positive 1 half. The integral of 3 plus 2t times cosine of 2t dt. And as you can see here, we have to perform again integration by parts because to evaluate this integral, we have an algebraic expression here, our function, and we have a trigonometric function here. So we're, we're going to choose again u as 3t, okay, 3 plus 2t, I'm sorry, 3 plus 2t. So that should be 3 plus 2t. And, and getting derivative of that is simply what? 2dt, okay? And the dv will now be cosine of 2t dt. And getting the integral of that, that is 1 half sine of 2t. Okay? And again, copying the, this, this uh, side of our equation. Negative 1 half 3t plus t squared cosine of 2t plus 1 half. Of course, u v minus the integral of v v u. Okay? So again, let me just rewrite this. 3t plus t squared cosine of 2t plus 1 half. What is the u times v? u is 3 plus 2t. Our v is 1 half sine of 2t. Minus the integral of B D U. The integral of B that is one half sine two t. Our D U is equal now here. D U is equal to multiplied by by two D E. Okay, two D E. So again, we have to copy this cosine two t. Plus, okay, 1 half times 1 half, that is 1 4, 3 plus, okay, this is plus, this is plus 3 plus 2t, plus 2t sine of 2t. And again, we can factor out negative 1 half here, so negative 1 half, okay, so that is negative 1 half integral of sine 2t to dt or we cannot factor out because it should be cancelled so 2dt will be cancelled so we'll not be factoring that out so that would be cancelled so we are left with the integral of sine 2t dt so we have the integral of sine 2t dt okay and that should be easy for us okay that should be easy. Okay. So that's let's not forget that still this is in uh we have to multiply course still the one half. Okay. So this is one fourth. So multiplying the one half here. So we have still one half here. Okay. So we have one half here so integrating this okay let me well, let me just put a quotation here is signifying that this is equal to this so negative one half times the integral of sine that is we have to offset what uh since we have 2t here we have to offset one half here okay the integral of sine is negative cosine 2t dt so what happens here is that it reduces now to negative one fourth or force plus one fourth because of this negative cosine 2t plus c. 
So our final answer, our uh, final answer should be what? Okay, equal to negative one half. 3t plus t squared cosine of 2t plus 1 fourth 3 plus plus 2t sine 2t okay, plus 1 fourth cosine of 2t plus c. Okay? So this should be our final answer. Of course, what happened here a while ago is that this function is actually uh, multiplied by 1 half because we have factored out 1 half here. So simplifying this, 2 dt will cancel with 1 half. We are left with sine 2 t dt. And I distributed the 1 half inside of this uh, parenthesis so that 1 half times 1 half here will become 1 fourth. And 1 half uh, uh, distributed here will, will have negative one half here minus one half here so we evaluated the integral of sine 2 t and we offset one half because we have two here okay and the integral of negative cos of, of sine is negative cosine 2 t so that negative cosine here times the negative minus sign here will become positive one fourth cosine 2 t plus and hence we have our final answer and I hope you learned something in integration by parts. So thank you so much for listening and see you again on the next video. Don't forget to share it with your friends and um, subscribe to my channel and click the thumbs up button. So thank you so much for listening and God